All yours, my friend. Thanks so much, Robin. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Norris, the operations coordinator and narrator for Team Oracle, featuring the man considered by many to be the top solo aerobatic performer in North America today. Making his 20th appearance over the skies of Andrews, coming all the way from Salinas, California, in that very small, bread custom-built biplane known as the Oracle Challenger 3. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, none other than Mr. Sean D. Tucker. I invite you to stand by because you are about to witness a demonstration of the most hardcore, down and dirty, hard charging power aerobatics known to man, which come as a result of Sean's more than 22,000 hours of combined fixed wing and rotary wing flight time. This is a one of a kind aircraft that Sean is flying, and watch closely now as he performs a forward flip in the Oracle Challenger 3. Straight at the ground, a half roll, put Sean inverted in that high negative G recovery. Then back to show center, another half roll bring Sean back to upright to begin the hooey loop. This is an inside, outside loop with a tumble at the top. The first half is inside, or what we call positive G's. The second half is outside, or negative G's. Over six negative G's, trying to throw Sean out of the cockpit at the bottom end of that last maneuver. In the repositioning turn now, Sean is going to set up to show you the maneuver which he calls the double hammerhead. Right about now, the pull to the vertical. Watch for the three-quarter roll and now the shoulder roll. Nose perfectly vertical and once at zero forward airspeed. Watch for hard, full left rudder as Sean completes not one, but two consecutive hammerhead turnarounds. Another high negative G inverted recovery takes Sean away from the crowd in the Oracle Challenger 3. This aircraft was custom built specifically for Sean by our team over a period of 16 months. It weighs in at barely 1130 pounds, however it is powered by almost 400 horsepower, making it without question the most high performance aerobatic biplane in the world today. Right now, Sean performing the descending inverted flat turn. Continuing the turn back to air show left. Sean will tumble his way out of this maneuver and then convert that altitude back into airspeed. He is about to show you a maneuver which was first seen in 1972 when it was used by Mr. Charlie to win for the United States the World Aerobatic Championship Trophy. This is called the torque roll. Using every bit available horsepower, Sean is going to pull himself 1,800 feet above the ground. Right now, zero forward airspeed, Sean is going to shift into reverse and begin flying this aircraft tail first towards the ground, airspeeds in excess of 90 miles an hour. And only once he passes through his critical altitude will he allow that nose to fall through the horizon by pulling back on the throttle. The, snow, the nose comes back on as he makes his way back down to air show right. At this time, I would like to suggest that you get on your feet and get your cameras ready. Direct your attention to the grass area behind and to either side of the Blue Angels, and you will notice that there are three sets of poles out there. Suspended between each set of poles is a ribbon, which is only 20 feet above the ground. Right now, five feet above the ground, Sean comes underneath the ribbon number one. Pulling the nose around, watch for him to tumble it, stop, and then another forward flip. 
in the recovery. Sean is trying to find ribbon number two and ribbon number three. What's in sight? He dives over the second ribbon and then back underneath that third and final ribbon. At 220 miles an hour, the nose comes skyward, and Sean is going to now move from left to right, showing you the world's smallest inside loop. We call this the alley-oop. that Sean has made the determination that the show line is obstruction free and he is gonna now make an attempt at slicing all three of those ribbons in one single pass in three separate flight attitudes. Right knife edge, left knife edge, and then inverted. Diving in now from the right, 220 miles an hour, 18 feet above the ground. Sean now rolls into knife edge flight through ribbon number one, immediately to left knife edge through number two, and then inverted to shred that third and final ribbon. A maneuver performed by no one else in the world today. That is Sean D. Tucker and the triple ribbon cut. Only Oracle offers hardware and software engineered to work together. Complete and integrated systems from Oracle simplify enterprise IT while delivering extreme performance. Oracle, hardware and software engineered to work together. Skyward again, watch as Sean now demonstrates the newest maneuver in the sequence. He is going to stop this aircraft inverted one more time, and now he will start to ease that stick forward along with the throttle, with the goal being to perform a very small outside loop. I would like to recommend that you get your cameras ready because Sean is going to turn inbound now for his low altitude, low speed photo pass. And in just a moment, we are going to go live and to the cockpit. As Sean makes the turnaround, let's try to reach him live and in the cockpit. Sean D. Tucker, are you with us? for air 
Fair Show Showmanship and the Art Show Memorial Showmanship Award in the same year. In 2005, Sean was honored by the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum as being one of the 25 living legends in aviation. And in 2008, at the birthplace of aviation, Dayton, Ohio, Sean was inducted into the National Aviation Hall of Fame. As Sean now sets up a short final, I'd like to take this final opportunity to thank you on behalf of Team Oracle and invite you to look us up online at teamoracle.org. And Sean D. Tucker's coming right by, and as he does, I think he's going to be stopping at the Oracle Chalet. And uh, Brian, you want to get him out of the airplane for us? Why don't you do that for us? Because the Golden Knights have about 30 seconds before they jump. All righty, Rob. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as Sean makes his way down the flight line, give him a big, big old wave. And all of our guests down to Team Oracle Chalet. Once we get this aircraft secure, Sean's going to make his way into the chalet. So make sure you get an opportunity to spend some time with Sean. You're going to you're going to enjoy talking with him.